Yo, what is happening, guys? On the Vlogs here, and today we're back with the dark side of YouTube. And yes, <coughs> this was originally meant to be the last fucking episode, but with popular demand, because multiple people will have messaged me and said that they want the dark side of YouTube to continue because that's their favorite series on my channel. I also had my average views is probably about 35 to 40 and i got just over 50 views on it so clearly people enjoy it and i got i think about 10 likes so people clearly people enjoy it so with popular man i thought it was getting stale clearly not so if people still enjoy it i'm still going to do it for quite a bit because i still enjoy this series like i'm sure you do as well because it's been here since the start so i'll just do it until it gets stale basically but yes Today we're going to be doing five creepiest videos nobody can seem to explain caught on a dash cam. And Bran has personally picked it out. So if it's trash, pick it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't wait for this one. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Number five. Paranormal encounters are usually thought to be videos or interactions with human-like apparitions or poltergeist attacks. However, they forget the word paranormal as an umbrella term, meaning events that are beyond the scope of the normal scientific understanding. Are you going to fuck it? Like, see if you're going to go into actual, like, proper explanation. Go, this taxi driver crashed his car. He must have been possessed. I swear to God. Both the red taxi and the vehicle recording the drive travel down dark city streets in the later hours of the night. No other cars or pedestrians are seen on the streets as the clip plays. The red taxi takes a left turn down off a main street and the second car follows. Literally just seconds after making the turn, the taxi suddenly hit. A huge ghost of what appears to be smoke, a huge gust of what appears to be smoke, darts from the left side of the road toward the taxi. The mass doesn't resemble a human form, it could easily be brushed off as a collection of smoke or dust in the wind. Get to the clip! Get to the clip! <laughs> Fucking hell! He spent about 30 seconds telling us about how the wee white thing goes across the string when it, no, uh, across the fucking screen whenever it's like a fucking paranormal thing. Pretty sure if you're clicked on this, you're, you know about paranormal shit and you understand it. Wind. However, it shoots out of absolutely nowhere with violent force hitting the taxi. Just as the apparition seems to make contact, the taxi swerves to the right as though the car actually felt the impact. The taxi stumbles slightly and almost hits a nearby tree before slamming on the brakes. This suggests that the mass was much more than. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Let me see it, cause now I can actually see it without him talking. Stumble slightly, it almost hits a nearby tree before slamming on the brakes. This suggests that the mass was much more than smoke or dust, because neither. That was bright. Yeah. These options would be able to hit a vehicle hard enough to move it. Furthermore, I mean, for all you know, like. In fucking America. Well, I don't know if it's in America. <clears throat> For all you know, he could have been driving with his window down and a bit of dust came out of nowhere, flew in and hit him in the eye. So he panicked and he swerved his car and almost crashed. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's unexplainable. Like that, that could have... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's unexplainable. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, but like that's, that's more of a logical explanation. Like. Number four. Oddly enough, Russia is well known for its dash cam footage. People constantly upload videos of wrecks and shocking events captured by their dashboard camera. Countless viewers seem to find the content very entertaining, and compilations are often- Wait, have we seen this one, haven't we? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is one where there's just a creepy bitch and she runs towards the car, I'm pretty sure it's all Let's see. Compilations are often created showing the most jaw-dropping events of them all. In some cases, though, the footage is about a wreck or a traffic mess, but instead it focuses on the paranormal sightings that drivers have experienced late at night. Yes, do you not remember this one? And like she fucking goes like that in the car or something and I said, I can't remember it. I think that was when I went on the ramp and I go, I swear to God, if she touched my car, I'd fucking run over and reverse over her head or something like that. Number three. In 2016, near Halloween, a strange clown craze began to spread across the world. Pranksters would dress up as scary clowns to stalk people, walk along a dark abandoned road, and even try to attack unexpected drivers. The clown craze became a huge problem because while some clowns thought that they were just having innocent fun while pranking people, others took advantage of the trend to commit real crimes and spread serious fear. On several occasions- Do you remember that? No? You don't remember that? 
people dressed up as clowns oh, in like 20s. Like, I've never fucking seen it. No, no, no. This 2016, 2017, oh, people yeah. dressed up yeah, as clowns. Did they kill people or something? Yeah, no, they killed people and all. That was one of the ones I remember. Like, people were saying, oh, be careful, blah, blah, blah. And I literally goes, I'll take because I had a fucking baseball bat at the time. No, like a mini one, because we were fucking about. And I literally goes, I will take that with me. And I goes, if any clown fucking comes near me, I swear to God, I'm bashing over the head. It was like fucking self-defense. <laughs> if that fucker comes at me with a fucking knife, it's getting a whap. It's, it's going to turn into a fucking pinata. <laughs> Several occasions, officers were called to address clown threats, and the alleged jokesters were charged with real crimes. Aside from police action, citizens also began confronting the issue in their own ways. Usually done as an act of self-defense, victims started to actually fight the creepy clowns. This video, filmed by a dashboard camera in Sydney, on a late Saturday night in October of 2016. You're an idiot! Right, so he's walking around, the guy gets out of his car, he goes, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, put the bath down. You know how aggressive he is, I would be like, right, look, first off, I wasn't gonna beat your ass. I would tell him even if I was. <laughs> I was like, first off, I was second off, you come near me, I will fucking beat your ass. I will scramble your bald fucking head into eggs, motherfucker. 16. Documents a period in time when the scary clown trend was at its peak. It also serves as a perfect example of what could happen to individuals dressing as- Nah, it's definitely fake. Did you not see those punches? He got on top of him and went- I was like fucking WWE. He was going like that. I wouldn't hurt a fucking child. As the driver pulls over and parks, the clown assumes a defensive stance, gripping his bat and backing away slowly. The driver exits the car to talk to the clown. Although you can't hear their conversation, it seems as though the driver is confronting the man about his intentions. The clown raises a hand slowly and puts his bat on the ground. However, the driver doesn't seem to buy that he's surrendering, and he charges toward the clown and begins hitting it. The clown falls to the ground trying to protect himself and his mask falls off. After a few hard hits, the driver runs back to the car. The goob drive off, still laughing. Some have expressed no, do you see the punches I mean now? That's do you see what I mean? He literally, went, like, he literally went like that. I was too small. Do you see what I mean though? It wasn't even a fact to the face. He literally went to his arm. <laughs> I've been hit. You've hit me fucking harder than that in fucking Apex punch of back videos. Like, fuck off. That's not real. Better because he couldn't confirm the man's intentions, but, but either way, the dashcam footage is a perfect representation of a strange trend and the consequences that came with it. Also a perfect representation of him assaulting someone. Do you ever think of that? <laughs> Even if the clown had bad intentions, he didn't do anything yet, so that man actually assaulted him. So see the one that he's identified for fucking being a cop, he could go to fucking jail, so well done. <laughs> Number two. This video may not be creepy in the same way as the others because it doesn't deal with the paranormal encounter. However, it is footage of a real-life conflict that many people will hope never happens to them. On October 29th, 2014, at around 12.15pm, this dashboard camera footage was recorded of a robbery in Indianapolis, Indiana. The video provided is about a minute and a half long, and it begins with a car parked near a shopping center in the middle of broad daylight. It sounds as though the female driver inside the car is moving things around and preparing to either leave or head into a store. The radio plays lowly and several people can be seen passing the area. Around the 48 second mark, a man of average build walks into the camera's shot. He's holding a plastic mask of some kind over his face as he glares at the woman in the car. It's possible that the driver assumed the man was innocently wearing the mask due to the fact that Halloween was just around the corner. Did you know before he said Halloween was just around the corner, I thought it was just an average day in like July and I was like, yes mate, because people walk about all the time with fucking masks on, <laughs> all the time. It, it makes more sense now because instead of a Halloween bar, I was like, yes, people walk around with masks all the time. Beck walks to the right side of the vehicle and there's a long period of silence as a random pedestrian walks from a parking lot across the street. The suspect paused before committing his crime until the possible witness was across the street and away from the scene. For the rest of the video, not much can be seen due to the dash cam facing forward. You can clearly hear the events that unfold though. The You're actually going to show us this video? Do you see why I'm getting frustrated? <laughs> show us the video! The woman makes a vague statement about the masked man being near her car. Noises of a car being opened follow and the woman lets out a gentle whimper. 
A struggle is heard from the car as the woman screams loud and fights in the white shirt that obviously left the parking lot, pauses at the front door of a building as he looks back to inspect the source of the screams. We can't confirm if he was simply unable to see what was going on or if he chose to ignore the event, but regardless, he eventually walks into the store, leaving the woman to fight for herself. A short time later, the victim called police, who later arrived at the scene. In the original video, hands on, he doesn't show the actual fucking video. He just, he shows the video without audio and him speaking over it. Yes, narrate what happens, but then show the actual video and the audio after, because then we don't understand. You're saying, oh, he says this and that in the thing, but you can't make it out. Maybe we could make it out. But we can't, because we can't fucking hear it, because you've muted the fucking clip. So play fucking audio, please. Next time, you have 1.92 million subscribers. Play the fucking audio. <laughs> Number one. The Gettysburg Battlefield is an area in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, where an... I'm pretty sure we've seen this one as well. I feel little, it's not recognizable to me. I recognize those two cannons, and I recognize this little fucking... Thing. <laughs> I don't know what's matter with that little thing in the background. Pennsylvania, where an important historical battle of the same name took place from July 1st to July 3rd in 1863. An estimated 46 to 51,000 casualties were said to have occurred on the field. Today, the Gettysburg Field is considered one of the most haunted locations in the world. It's haunted. Then why are you there? <laughs> oh, no. This is a thing. I would love to go to a haunted, like, asylum or something, but will I go? No, because I'm not stupid, because I don't want to be haunted. I'll go at an age where I know that I'm fucked anyway and I'm going to die soon anyway, because then if they get me, I won't be sad. Pearl. Rumors began flying that witnesses saw ghostly apparitions or experienced poltergeist activity in the area. The most common sighting involves the lost spirits of fallen soldiers mindlessly sliding over the grounds. The location was used for a short period as an educational tourist stop, but it later adopted the haunted location theme. Now nightly tours are offered which expose visitors to the dark and eerie spot. In addition to regular tourist and history buffs, the battlefield is also popular amongst paranormal investigators and believers, hoping to have an experience of their own. A video that was originally filmed in 2013 by two visitors randomly picked up traction in 2019. In the video, the two visitors sit in their car while a dashboard camera runs. The two discuss the location and inform the audience of their plan. Very little happens in the first majority of the video, but that suddenly changes around the 1 minute 50 This man's tax isn't even in the screen. <laughs> Has he done anything right? <laughs> Look! Zero minutes later. <laughs> right at 52 second mark, near two cannons on the right side of the road, movement is seen out of nowhere. It captures the men's attention and shocks them. They ask each other what the object could be as it moves out from behind the cannons and becomes more visible. The figure without a doubt resembles the build of an average man. Additionally, it slowly strolls forward in a natural walking motion. The men are completely taken by surprise as the apparition shows itself near the road. It's clearly not a regular human walking through the area. Because it I would check myself. I wouldn't. Fuck off, bro. I don't think so. Fuck off. I mean, I'd be Fuck really off. shocked, but... I know you would, because when we explored that abandoned building, you were scared and it wasn't haunted or anything. So if you saw a ghost between your fucking eyes in front of you, you'd check yourself, because I would... I ain't gonna be like, oh, no, it'd be cool. I'd be like, oh, hell no. Turn the <laughs> fucking car around. I was like, turn the fucking car around. Oh, yeah because it's slightly transparent and lacking physical details. After walking forward and apparently glaring at them, it turns around and walks back behind the cannons before reaching its original spot and disappearing in place. Okay, well that was good. Apart from talking over everything, I must not hear it. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I ain't gonna keep it too long. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Comment down below what you thought. The next episode, I'll bring a new episode out every like two weeks or so. But yes, the next episode will probably be of Brandon again. I'm probably just going to keep you until the final episode, but yes. Uh, and if you do enjoy my content, smash the subscribe button because it really does help. And I have to do this really quick, so I'm going to talk really fast.